So this morning in Wall Street Journal and on my good friend Lauren Feldman's 21 Hats newsletter, there was an article on how many small businesses are taking advantage of filing subchapter five. Somewhere along the line, somewhere back in 2020, the federal government decided to make the chapter 11 filing simpler. So what that means is that if you're in distress and you're really in trouble and you got to file quicker and your debts are under $7.2 million, then you have this quicker, faster path to quote unquote, hopefully reorganizing. So to put struggling into perspective, a young lady named Amanda Crawford opened a deli and market in Charlotte, North Carolina. You know, business really struggled and struggled because of rising costs just really struggled. And she wound up having to shut it down after a brief two or three years, that was it. But Amanda was fortunate because she had her mothership and her mothership was her restaurant that had always been successful for her. Well, now while she was focusing on building the deli and the market, the restaurant sort of took a little bit of a backseat because other restaurants opened up around her. But bottom line is Amanda had this restaurant, this mothership to go back to. Most independent business owners that we work with, everything they have is tied up in their four walls, right? So I don't downplay Amanda's plight because it's for real. How about you? If something happens and your business is really on that slippery slope to never, never land, what's your fallback position? Do you have one? And most owners do not. What it said this morning in the Wall Street Journal was that businesses are struggling because of higher interest costs, higher labor costs, and higher cost of operations. Everything has gone up quicker than businesses' ability to pass those costs along or incorporate that into their pricing. While I'm not a fan of filing, and I am not a fan of filing, folks, I think the only people that win are lawyers, right? Reality is you can take steps if you know your business is sliding in the wrong direction. Because once you get on that slippery slope, it's very difficult to get off. So let me give you a couple of things you can or should be doing to make sure you are never in that position to have to even consider getting legal help deciding on whether you should file or not. So number one, manage by the numbers. Number two, do a weekly cash P&L. What does that mean? Not a monthly financial that you get 15, 20, 30 days after the end of the month. Do a weekly cash P&L. What came in? What did we spend? What went out? I know you're going to tell me that's not a real financial statement. I will tell you if the numbers are negative every week, your financials are going to be a disaster. Number three, get accurate and timely financial and operating reporting. Not just the financial reports you need. You need operating reports because that's what rolls up into determining what your financial results will look like. Number four, you must have discipline and you must instill that discipline within your organization. Discipline for what, you might say, Lou? Well, number one, you wanna drive that ship, but you wanna drive that ship at the right margins. If you're not getting the top line revenue at the right margins, you're in trouble. Stop discounting. Raise your prices periodically. Your costs are going up. You have to pass that along. If you need to negotiate with vendors to get some more time to figure out what your liquidity looks like, don't be afraid. Negotiate with your vendors. And the final thing I'm going to suggest to you is don't be afraid. Surround yourself with the best talent you can find and pay your folks for that. Whether that's inside your building or professionals that will help you get to where you need to be. Make sure you have a healthy organization that never needs to consider chapter 5, chapter 11, whatever other numbers the, the federal government calls it, you know? Our goal is to help you be a stronger, more successful, more giving business and business owner. That's what we're here for. That's what really matters, to help you get to where you want to be. One of Amanda's major issues was the cost of labor. And as everyone that's in business knows, our labor costs just keep going up. And if labor costs or how to deal with increased labor costs is something that matters to you, follow us. And that's what we're going to talk about on our next Straight Talk video, folks.